In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to record your screen on a Mac or PC, for free. For this, I'll be using OBS Studio, the download link is in the description. If you're new to OBS, I'd suggest taking a look at my video on recording settings, to learn how to get set up. I'll still go over all of the important settings in this video, along with what sources work best for screen recordings. So let's get started. Let's start from scratch, and create a profile that's optimized for recording. Profiles, are used to create customized OBS settings. So you can save the best settings for streaming, or recording separately, and switch between profiles based on your project. If you don't have any profiles, click New, and give it a name. Let's also create a new scene collection. Scene collections, are used to save custom scenes, and sources. Click New, and title it. Now we have a clean slate. This is the canvas where your video will be. This is also known as, the program window. Your scenes are here. You can add more by clicking the plus button. Within each scene, you can have a unique set of sources. Before we start adding any sources, let's take a look at some settings. Starting from the bottom. Go to Advanced. Under Recording. Check Automatically Remux to MP4. This means your final output file, will be in MP4 format. Next, go to the Video tab. Select your base canvas. Set this to the highest possible resolution. Ideally, you would set the output resolution to match the canvas, but if you're working with a lower-end computer, consider lowering the output resolution. If you selected a lower output resolution, leave the downscaling filter as by cubic, and set the frame rate to either 30, or 60, depending on what you're recording. I'll leave it at 30. I'll come back to the audio tab a bit later in the video. For now, let's stick with the video settings, and move on to output. Change the output mode, to advanced. Then go to the recording tab. The recording path, is the save location for the recordings. Leave the recording format, as MKV. There are more commonly used formats, like MP4 and MOV, but using them in OBS is risky. If the program were to crash, then anything that was recorded to that point, will be lost. OBS suggests using MKV, then remuxing it to MP4. We've already set this to automatically remux, in the Advanced tab. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, select the NVENC encoder. I don't have an NVIDIA card in this computer, so I'll pick the AMD alternative, to show you the settings. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, use X264. For NVENC, set the rate control to CQP, the CQ level to 20, and the profile to high. For X264, set the rate control to CRF, and leave the CRF value at 23. Set the profile to high. The audio bitrate can be set for each track, in the audio tab. Click apply, and OK. All of the settings are now saved to the profile that we created at the start of the video. Before we talk about what sources to use, thanks for watching until this point. If you're finding any value in this video, please give it a like. Now, let's talk about the best sources to capture your screen. The best way to make sure everything on the screen is recorded, is to use the source, Display Capture. Make sure any unwanted windows on this screen are closed. Click the plus button, then select Display Capture. Experiment with the capture method. Automatic is usually fine, but if you notice some parts of the screen are missing, try one of the other two options. Next, select the display that you want to record. If you want your mouse to be visible, leave capture cursor checked. Click OK. If you want to switch displays, you can do that here. To record just one window, you can add a window capture. You can select any window that's currently open. Just like display capture, you may need to do a bit of trial and error with the capture method. Typically, I would leave the window match priority to match title, otherwise find window of same type. Capture cursor will show your cursor. And the client area? Will show or hide the windows frame. This only works when you have the Windows 10 capture method selected. Window capture is okay if you'll be using one window for the duration of the recording. If you need to open a secondary window, like clicking a browse button to select a file, 
window capture won't capture that browse window. Display capture will be a better option for this. The last thing left to talk about is audio. Neither display capture or window capture includes audio. There are two ways to add audio sources to the screen recording. The first way is in settings, then the audio tab. Any audio device that's going in or out of your computer can be enabled under global audio devices. For desktop audio, select the default speakers. If you have a mic or another input device, select it under mic auxiliary audio. Any device that's enabled here will show up on the audio mixer. Another way to add audio is to add it as a source. There are three options for that. Audio output capture is audio that's coming out of your computer. So desktop audio. Audio input capture is an audio source that coming into your computer, like a mic. Application audio capture will capture audio from a specific app. This is a great companion for window capture. The benefit of adding audio as sources rather than in the global audio device settings is so they don't get added to another scene that may not need my mic or the desktop audio. One final tip before I wrap up this video. You can separate each audio track in the recording to make life a bit easier in editing. In the audio mixer, click the gear button. Assign a track number for each audio source. Click close. Double check that these tracks are being recorded in settings, output, then the recording tab. Check all of the tracks that have an assigned track number. Remember to match the bitrate for each track in the audio tab. Then click apply and okay. To begin recording, click the start recording button. You can pause the recording. Restart it when you're ready. Or simply stop the recording when you're done. The recording will automatically remux and save the file. And that wraps up this video. I hope you found some value in it. If you did, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one.